All right. Good afternoon, good morning, everyone. This is Jackie Geisinger and a wonderful team of leaders and future leaders coming to you for the April party planning webinar for March 2019. So our goal today is to get to you with some fun tips, ideas, hearing from the experts that are with me today. This will be some share time as well. Uh, but I'll just give you a couple of little pointers on uh, some April ideas on how to bloom into parties, how to spring into action, because ever since the launch, or I will say relaunch of parties from Jafra, from our famous President's Club, and we've got one with us today, Ms. <coughs> our new blondie there. Uh, anyway, so we're excited to say that the parties really um, are back and they're in full swing and we have just seen so much success. It is how we're promoting uh, managers. It is how we're growing to quarterly bonuses. It is how we're earning our ways to paydays. So again, we're gonna continue that. I'm so grateful we had this party planning the last week of every month. As you know, we're not able to see the hostess special for the month of April until the action is released. I don't see it any sooner than you. Um, so that's okay. We're just going to remind you that you can still book parties and stock up on some of those March uh, hostess offers that we have in the action brochure. We also have taken a look at the April brochure. As you know, it's not online yet, but at the same time, you may have had your mailing already. So we'll take a quick peek at that. Looking for some party themes. What are the hot buys of the month? Uh, that you see in the book that you know you're going to focus on in your departments, for your giftables, and for your last-minute add-ons to your orders for upselling. So we'll take a quick view of that as well. Today, we're going to also do a little bit of fun with the theme wrapped around Easter, whether or not you celebrate it, every store does. Um, so it's one of those things you can branch into for something fun. So again, for those of you here live, um, you can certainly type in the chat box with any shares or questions. You can certainly as well pipe in. I've got a couple of light bulb moments where we're gonna ask the audience for their shares. And we're here to really just make sure when you open up that calendar April Fool's Day, you aren't fooling around. You literally have your calendar booked. So you don't wanna open the month and go, oh no, I have nothing there. The key is, to, to spend your time this last week, making sure you close strong, but you also open the door to a new month to keep your momentum going. So you want to make sure you've got all of your green in your calendar, your IPA is blocked out already for the month of April. And uh, we'll share with you the regional calendar today and all the holidays that are coming up. There's a lot of fun posting and party days from brownielocks.com that we're gonna pause a little bit and talk about today in kind of a different way, not just give you a list, but what do you do with that? And how do you turn that into something really groovy cool to fill your calendar into some fun people meeting activities? So again, I just say thank you for being here live. And uh, so before we kick into um, our slides, is there anyone who has something fun from their 2019 parties like they're excited about they had a really good party because this happened or they've been booking parties because they're doing this anybody just have a hot party share that they're excited about that's happened during january february or march so far this first quarter from bookings to sales to sponsoring anyone who wants to share If not, then I'm glad you're all here. <laughs> so anyway. Well, Jackie, if I, use, I use the uh, booking basket mm -hmm. and um, it always gets parties, okay? And I do it like a month before uh, Easter. And it's kind of nice because this year Easter's late. And so um, I use 12 eggs and I know People have different versions of it, but when it originally started, we used 12 eggs, and six of the eggs are free gifts, and then six of the eggs are um, uh, congratulations, have a party. And so 
the eggs are pretty, they're pretty in a basket. And when people come into the party, I have everybody choose their own egg. And I play with them throughout the whole party. Okay, pick up your egg, do you like it? After maybe the royal jelly presentation. Maybe after then the cleansing, I'll say, okay, pick up your egg, do you like it? Do you want to change it for something else? And people do change their eggs. And then towards the end of the party, I'll say, okay, are you happy with your egg? Uh, Susie, do you want Martha's egg? Oh my gosh, don't you take my egg. So by that time, they become very attached to this egg, okay? And that's the whole part of it. And that's how come they will pick it at the end. And then I tell them, okay, the whole point of this game is, and I'm up, I'm honest, and I ask you to be honest with me too. Um, in six of these eggs, because they don't know I have a time. And six of these eggs are free gifts, and six of the eggs are uh, have a party. And so I would like to have those of you who would like to pick an egg, pick, uh, open your egg all at one time. And you want to do that because if somebody opens their egg first and they get a party, that means, and everyone's sitting there thinking, oh, there's only five parties left. <laughs> I mean, five uh, free gifts left. The others are parties. And so, um, it's fun. And I have to tell you, I almost always book at least two to three parties from every uh, party from this. And then I will tell you at the very end, if no one has booked a party, <laughs> I will say thank you so much. Because you need somehow to get out of that, right? And I'll just say thank you so much for being honest with me. I appreciate it. And um, because if you had picked a party and then you don't have it, you know, that's on my calendar, but then it isn't really the truthful thing. So thank you for being honest with me. And it works, Jackie. Well, and you said something. Um, I'm going to lead you all to go to the Facebook Amber Region uh, page because um, we had some great training at a basics in Riverside, California last weekend. I know we had um, Judith and Rosario there, which was fantastic. And so Helen was rock star and did some amazing training on how to book parties. And um, so watch the videos. I posted them all this morning. Rosario was so kind to do little 30 minute segments on how to meet people, how to sponsor, how to book parties, how to share a story. We had Sally Elliott's amazing humorous story. It was wonderful. Um, and Helen had, the other thing I loved that you talked about Helen, was the B on the mirror, is it? Mm -hmm. Do you mind yes. sharing that little um, booking tip? Okay, so if for some reason you don't book a party, I always have an ace in the hole. <laughs> so depending on how many people really are at the party, so if I only have like four people or five people there, I'll only put a B sticker on the back of one mirror. Okay, if I have six or eight people or more, I'll use two stick two mirrors with stickers. And then I'll say, okay, so I would like to have um, you all pick up your mirrors, turn them around, who has a B on their uh, mirror. And you are so lucky tonight because guess what? You get a double royal jelly for scheduling a party with me. And always, always, I will get that person who had the mirror, uh, a sticker on their mirror, schedule a party. I love that. A little bribery never hurts anyone, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part, whatever it takes. I think the most important thing that Helen is talking about, and we actually have an egg basket ready. So you'll see what's in the eggs. Um, you'll see some ideas on how to use that basket. I think Betty asked that. Um, but it really truly is the most important thing that happens at a party is you have more parties. Right, mm -hmm. Helen? Mm -hmm. So yeah. the sales are fine. The sales can continue because there's a lot of people who didn't come to the party. So you always want to keep your party open, right? So that you can collect more orders. But the magic, and we always want to sponsor, of course. But reality is, if that party ended, darn, we're back to the drawing board to get another party. Mm -hmm. So really, the key to mastering success at a party is to leave with bookings. So if you, as you do your blue in your calendar next month, and Evelyn, by the way, did a great training as well on our recordings at Riverside, is to make sure in your training and your team training 
that every party you go to, you're bringing your team with. So actually what I love about a party is a party is green, it's income producing, but it's also team training. Never ever go to a party without a potential consultant, a potential leader, a, a new consultant. So always make sure you're filling chairs at every hostess's party. Number two is again, if you don't know how to book parties, you can watch all of our party training. If you go into our Facebook group, go under units, go into our party training under college courses, then go down to party training under the units and absolutely study until you figure it out and practice. Go into the month of April that you're springing into being a certified party giver and you need 10 practice parties. And be honest, unless you're doing one a week, you don't know what you're doing. I'm being honest because you lose it and it's the truth. If you're doing one a year or one every three months, being good at parties is never gonna be your forte, right? So when you do one to two a week during training or two or three in a day every Saturday, you'll start to see you get the groove and the bookings become funner and easier. So be a master at hostess coaching and booking parties at a party. Exactly what Helen is saying is probably the most important activity of a party. And it's really up to you to hostess coach. So, um, and we've got a lot of training on that and we'll just review one of the tools for that today. So thank you, Helen, for kicking us off with that because to me, it really is, how many parties did you book? If you ever met Jan and Frank Day, they, she always said, how many parties do you have on your calendar? And we always had the mini success scheduler with five, the power of five, not only is it about orders or sponsoring every month for five for the quarterly bonus, but it's also at least five parties, you're into success and a simpler business model. Then she had the success schedulers, which is 10. If you're a leader and we're back to parties, make that the biggest part of your training at a workshop and your recognition. So it is absolutely key and critical um, that we really take that time. I know we talked about even new consultants uh, getting their stars, pardon me, I'm reaching, sorry about my face in your camera, but getting their stars when they join Jaffra, having their first five parties, their welcome or ribbon cutting party, and four practice parties. We train on this at Smart Start Sunday. Five parties, so one is with you, four on their own, four parties, and them plus four people gets them to their team. Those two stars really lead them to Fast Start Part One and Part Two. So I love that we're just focused on bookings with what Helen shared in her idea. So thank you so much, Helen. Please make sure you all go back to Facebook and watch those videos. Go ahead, finish up, okay. Helen. And watch about postponements, okay? Because sometimes hostesses will say, oh, you know what, I really just didn't get enough people coming. So my ace in the hole is always to take a consultant with me. So when a hostess says to me, Helen, you know, I don't really have enough people coming, I always say, oh, please, I don't care if you just have two people there. Please let me come because I am training a new consultant and she's already planning to come. So that way that helps you with postponements too. And some of my best parties have been with two extra people. So yeah. Perfect. I love what you said. Goes back to the eggs. Don't put your eggs in one basket that you need to have 10 there. Sometimes two people at a party is more results than you've had with 12. So the beauty of it is you set it perfectly. Always have someone going with you. And as you prospect throughout the week, use that as a place to bring your potential consultants or guests or potential clients. So really always save two to three chairs at every party and you'll expect to fill the table and your hostess will never <laughs> reschedule, right? She'll <laughs> hold it. And remember for every guest they bring, you can have little gift certificates um, these are kind of money in a bunny. I don't know if you guys are goofy, but I'm goofy. Thank you. But this is money in a bunny. There's a $10 gift certificate in here for anyone who brings a guest that night. So again, you can do fun little things such as this that will help you have her not postpone. Helen, you hit on my two most important things with parties that I believe are rock star. Booking at a party 
and never rebooking a party. Do all you can. I mean, if there's an emergency or she has to change, of course we want to respect that. But it's really, really key. Don't wait for her to have a perfect party. Let's get that party on. And nine times out of 10, she may end up joining. And her next party she rebooks will be a ribbon cutting party. So I love what you said. They probably are two of the most important facets to parties. So thank you so much. Helen, unprepared best speaker, guest speaker. Yay. <laughs> so thank you. All right, we're going to roll forward. Keep asking any questions in the chat box, sharing any ideas. I want to get you ready uh, for our shares today. So let me get our screen going here. As we talk about again, going back to parties. Sorry, forgive me, get this out of here. Um, we're going to talk today a little bit about April themes, April fun days, April postings, April paintings. This is really spring has sprung. I have traveled a lot over the last month, and I will tell you, everybody's happy to have spring back. It's been cold from Arizona to rainy in California uh, to blizzardy from the East Coast to the Midwest where I live. So everybody is happy to get their birthday suits back on, to get their faces back with their glow. So that is why people love to get together to party. As we saw in the March brochure, it's just getting a few people to a room full of people together to try beauty and to hear about business. We demonstrate, we share, we're teaching in-home do-it-yourself regimens from one of our four departments or product lines. We want to keep it simple. We want to keep them short. Uh, 30 minutes is your demonstration because it's really a time for them to have some fun as well. It's where we're going to sell more, we're going to book more, we're going to sponsor, and we're going to train, just like you heard Helen sharing with us. So that is really what we're here to do. Remember to keep it simple. You are not packing 500 products. I believe in one to two bag rule, like Jan and Frank used to teach, and they should just be easy to carry in, no wheels necessary, right? So keep it simple in your mobile spot. The less you carry, the more you will book so they can see your next department type party. So as we go forward, I did want to pause and I wanted to say thank you to our incredible President's Club. For you and your team, you now have four different department parties for your team to watch. They can go to these webinars, get some brilliant ideas. Um, I want to do a shout out to Norma Lopez um, as well, because yesterday, Janet Flores did the way that Norma was closing her party, and uh, she said she had a huge party, a $400 party, if I'm not mistaken, with just a couple of guests using Norma's closing, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Jackie Ells did the makeup party, Rosa did the fragrance, and with us today, Pat Clover did her spa party, and I love that Pat was a teacher with her pointer. I just loved it. So again, making this fun, making this simple, and parties still are such a rage in the industry. They really do help you build it big and keep it simple. The most important part to this is as you open up April, we're not here to close March down, but as you get ready for April, what do we have for the month of April? We know that we've got a brand new quarter starting for leaders. So we are hitting quarter two, April 1st through the month of June. So why do we want a party? Because the easiest way to sponsor is at parties. So that is because they see the job. And when people see you doing a party and they join, they will start to do parties and it grows and grows and grows. Imagine if you had two to five parties every week in your team. Our average party in the United States is $500 retail. You could have $2,500 a week if you plus four people each held one party a week. That's how simple money multiplies and parties multiply. So you want to really map out right away as you start quarter two, after you finish quarter one, how will I have two direct sponsors and my team have three indirects? The key is ribbon cutting parties, which is their welcome or launch party, 
getting them off to a great start and helping them book their first at least next two parties and so on. What do we have going on still in the month of April? For those earning Las Cabos, I know we've got a couple of first time new leaders working today uh, and this week to finish so they can be on track for Las Cabos next month. We have the Magic Makers going to Orlando. March, you wanna finish if you can to get your 10 QNCs under your belt. Continue earning 10 points with their $400 retail. And again, any new sponsors during April and May will net you 12 points. You also have anyone who promotes to manager as you're a manager and you're moving to DM1. You have 40 points for first time new managers only and then maintenance points of 40 points. So we're starting to move into the last two months of Las Cabos and Orlando. What else do we have? I went through the April book. When you get the April book, the key is you pick your favorites out of each department, right? What are my key features for maybe a regimen I wanna focus on at my four different department parties like you saw all of our President's Club do? And what are my giftables from the departments? What are my upselling items from the departments? What are my client reorders from these four departments? What am I gonna focus on to maximize my daily and weekly income goals. Second is always taking a look at the hot buys that you can use for product incentives for your consultants. So I went through and I looked at that and said, wow, what would be the low price recognition gifts for my consultants? Remember, you always spend 20% maximum back on your team in a business like this. So what does that mean? If I have a $400 QNC, a $400 order, that's 200 retail, right? So again, my opportunity, I make 11% on that. That's $22 is what I make. So you have about $4.40 to spend on a product. So I always look for items that's my first level of recognition at 400. Everything is wrapped around 400. Some of you do, that is your bronze, your silver is 600, your gold is 800, and then you've got the thousand um, for diamond or platinum. So if that's you, you always wanna take the book and divide out what are my lowest prices? Why do we use product? Well, when you order it, you get paid. It builds to your team retail. But number two, having a product that a consultant receives at a meeting or in the mail is really pay forward. Because with so many products, don't assume they even use that many products. So our goal is to always get them something new to try. If they love it, they share it. So again, what did we find? The back cover, there's deodorant. Your cost, $2.50. That's a wonderful add-on item for recognition. If you go to the Manny Petty page, there's $4 products in that collection. The gel nails, three for 18, take your cost down on that, it's $3 each. The triple play, which is in your makeup line, $4.33. The setting spray, $5. You have lip offers for $5 products. And you have spa products. My favorite is the door opener. Three of the spa products for $29. Divide that out, take it down to your cost. That takes every product down to $4.83. So those again are great incentives for your Jaffra consultants. So I just wanna pause as, actually I'm gonna go forward and then I'll come back. We're gonna come back to ideas because I already took a few great ideas uh, for booking from um, Helen. But I want you to just think about what are some other ideas you have? I talked about recognition products, but jot down some thoughts. How do you plan to build your sales? Um, taking a look at your parties. How do you build your sales before, during, and after? Okay, so jot down a couple of ideas. How do you get more bookings at your parties? Helen gave us some great heads up, so we may not cover that one. What does your display look like for sponsoring or what tools do you use to build sponsoring at a party? 
and any of your top favorite hostess coaching ideas, okay? So jot those down, and we're gonna come back to sharing after we kick off with some theme party ideas from the April book. So we're gonna continue taking a look at the April book. So a couple of themes, you know me, I love to use what Jaffra makes. I love using their words and not recreating. So what do we have? We have the theme parties just using the books here. You know it's a wonderful mother-daughter idea, right? So you always have mom and daughter parties. You have showered with love spa parties, a scent of style fragrance party or fragrance bar. You have a glow party with facials, Manny petty parties. I love this one, all lit up, which is the eyeshadow page. I love that theme. You have flawless facials. You could do flawless Fridays for posting on Facebook. You have spring sale a These are just some of the words that Jaffra uses within the book. For those of you that don't know, why do I need a theme party? It sort of makes it new and different. So when you call your customers, whether it's a recorded call, one by one, email, texting, video, Facebook Live, and you say, welcome, happy April. I wanna share with you the hot buys of the month, the new party themes of the month, and the reason for the season. And you're sharing with them, this month only, these are my theme parties. You can just pick one. You could pick one from each department, but it makes it exciting with limited openings and all new theme parties. So every month you have a new reason to connect with your clients, to tell them about the hot buys of each department, the giftables, the can't miss add to your order offers, the theme parties, and the reason for the season to begin a business for you or someone you know. That's the purpose of constantly using the new book. It's a monthly program to buy, book, or begin. So it's just getting that message out to everyone or giving you new themes to be your own hostess. It also gives you, if you look at the top of our IPA regional calendar, we always say as you block out your calendar, plan to do things. This line here, is making sure you always do one, two, three, four, five IPAs a day, right? You have to do daily green income producing activities. Watch Evelyn Abernathy on Facebook. She did a great job reiterating what does that mean and how to be a time manager and an income producer. And then it's talking to two to five conversations a day on the phone, texting, calling people, out and about so you plan where to fit that into your day like betty in the opening today she said i'm going to pay less shoes they're closing i'm going to go talk to people before i treat myself to my workout right so that's planning to do it along your way and we talk about making phone time so when you look underneath the days here we always say, what do you do? This comes from Jaffra's Income Producing Activity Calendar. So you can look here and it says coaching. That's kind of that special service day. Could be your new consultants, your future leaders, your inactives, your pre-inactives. Monday's a great day like you hear Evelyn train on for coaching and phone calls. Kicks off the week, gets people going. Tuesdays and Saturdays, you can see our pink party days or facial days or beauty and business, cash and coffee days. Wednesdays are your booking or hostess coaching days. Thursdays, your customer care or service days. Friday, follow-up administrative days. So again, along there, you still always add in your blue for training yourself on whatever topics you need and all of the other things you fit into what Jaffra has or the region has, yellow for opportunity days, and again, always making sure you put your personal uh, date nights, family time within your calendar. Underneath there, we always post some social ideas. This is where you can even take your themes and change them for your posting ideas of the week. This gives you Fun day story, 
It's Sunday fun day. You're just sharing pictures of your life or your family or something you did over the weekend. That's relatable to those on your Facebook page. You have Makeup Monday. So you could do all lit, all lit up party one day. You could do a makeup party. You could do Skin News Tuesday and turn it into a flawless facial day. You can do Winter Wednesday where maybe you host a live party and you draw for a host, ghost hostess and everybody who orders that day goes into a drawing to be a winner of your hostess rewards. There's Thirsty Spa Thursday. Again, showered with love spa products. There's Freedom Friday where you talk about the opportunity and the reasons for the season to bloom into more income with the spring into Jaffra business. And then there's Scented Saturdays. Maybe you're focusing on the scent of style or Mother's Day gift ideas. So again, you can see you can turn your IPA using some of these themes from the April brochure. And then what do you want to do? You always go through that book and look for, again, what's your feature item? I don't know about you all, but my favorite is that spa trio. I love 60% off that open page. That opens the door to huge sales. I can't believe that offer three for 29. That's like buy one, get two free. It's crazy. You pick your favorite mom's day. Maybe it's the mom garden. I love gardenia, rose blossom, all of that. You've got 39, $69 offers at 45% off. And what are the upsellers? You finish an order and you pause and say, you carry that little upsell basket. You've got your makeup setting spray, the mascara, the gel trio for the nail colors. This is like our spring into um, items you can't miss. And I do love the deodorant. I didn't put that in there, but I do believe that's a great buy as well. So did they want to add anything to save a stop at the store or to try something new? That coconut water setting spray is a rage. So these are all the things when you get your book that gets you ready for planning to profit and planning to party. So you browse through that book and you say, what do I need to order this week of March? So I've got it ready for my tabletops, for my Facebook Live to show and sell the first week of April. Always open the door with the products that you want to profit from. Doesn't matter if it's not on sale until April 1st, get it now. So you've got it to smell, sell, show, and sell. All right, so make sure we take a pause and go through the book. All right, let's go forward just a little bit. We're gonna finish with themes and then we'll come back to our audience. So I took this from Million Dollar Party Girl. Some of you like themes, some of you don't. What it does is sometimes it pauses people to picture something fun. Parties are made to be fun. If I say, hey, I do skincare parties, Sounds like what everybody's been doing since 1942, right? So it's okay, but we like to have it sound fun. So I, oh, I'm a Google freak. I love to learn from those who have already taught. And so these are some of the million dollar party theme or from the million dollar party girl. It's on, on Google, but some people like to do days of the week party themes like you saw our social idea for Facebook. There's Mudslide Monday, uh, Teeny Tuesday, uh, Wind Down Wednesday, Hump Day, Happy Hour, Throwback Thursday, Ladies Night, Thank Goodness It's Friday Girls Night, Sunday Fun Day. So some people like to use the days of the week like you saw on the Facebook. These give you ideas for posting and for parties. So in today's world, you kind of have a constant live party with Facebook and Instagram, and you also have this at in-home or on-the-go parties. Then she also had ladies' night out theme party ideas. Mommy's time out, 40 and fabulous. Maybe you've got a good group of friends or ladies. The Moda party, there's that mother-daughter. Sip, shop, and taste. Single and sassy, it might be a ladies' church group that has that, or a mom's group. Manny's and massages, the fabulous 50s. So again, you can turn it into particular groups or um, ages. Then, some people like to do it around food, 
and I'm not here endorsing alcohol. Please don't think that you can make it non-alcohol. But these are, again, are some of the common themes you see when you go into Google for ideas. Stop whining and cheese party. <laughs> Shots and scents. That was kind of interesting. Bubbles and body care bling. Cupcakes and cocktails. Just, again, food brings people sometimes, right? I love this one, the ice cream social. Banana split and beauty bash. So everybody brings their favorite topping and you play makeup. You can do mimosas and manis, PJ petties, fizzies and facials. And that can just be anything bubbly. You can do sangria and sandals, bagels and beauty, tacos and tootsies, which is like a petty party, right? Lunch and lids look. That was kind of the other uh, twist on the uh, lid party. Lunch and lips could be another one. Munchies and masquerades, pizzas and prizes, birthday bashes. I know some of you do uh, treats for your clients on uh, their birthdays. You could do 25% off any order that month during their birthday, 50% off at a party, or 10% and 25%, whatever you want to do. So again, these were just some of the fun themes we saw from the parties. So I'm going to pause a minute and come back to the audience. So audience, do you have other themes? Or did you like any of those themes that you want to highlight during the month of April? Let's just hear from the audience. I like the mom and daughter. I hadn't thought about doing one of those, but um, that's a, an idea. Excellent. Mom and daughter's always super fun to do. Um, something great to see. Uh, Girl Scouts are good groups, but you can tap into that in church groups. Um, mm -hmm. They love it, right? So you've got the perfect skincare from teenagers to boost. I'm um, great with colleges as well. So thank you, Betty. Anyone else? Any aha moments they grabbed something they liked or other ideas you have for theme parties or how you use the catalog? Uh, Jackie, you know, Tamara used to do uh, spagaritas. She used to call it spagaritas, and I always loved that. Excellent. Very good. I love it. So absolutely true. So have some fun. Think about it. If someone said, I'm excited, we've got a new theme party this month. I've only got four openings, and I thought of you because... I know you love this. I know you're connected to a lot of moms and daughters. I know you're blah, 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 blah. So again, it gives you a reason to connect and everything has limitations. So thank you for sharing. So let's go back to, again, how many of you, by the way, before I go, take the book and dissect it like that the minute you get it. Excellent. Look for your offers, look for your parties, look for your recognition and break down the best offers in each department the upsells and the giftables. This is getting yourself ready to launch in April. And you and your consultants who are working the business want to make sure you've got the products on hand to be able to do those parties and the products that you need to share and sell. All right. So let's go back to the screen. All right. So Jackie, I, yes, go ahead. I just wanted to say I've been flagging the fragrance samples too because they are sometimes hard to see. So um, it's a little bit more work, but I just have those little arrow flags and I've been flagging them. Um, I think it's helpful. I don't know. It is very helpful. When you call your clients and you, I, I still love the client mailing. I just do. I'm a catalog shopper myself. So I love them getting this. When you do that call, whether it's a phone tree um, or a personal phone call and you follow up to spotlight your hot buys, your giftables, um, Again, your feature items, your parties, and your reason for the season. Absolutely, I love what Betty said. Thank you for that. Find the scent strips. Where can you make more sense with the scents? Know those pages. Thank you for doing that, it's so smart. And again, alerting that to your customers. Giving that with your hostesses so they know where that's an automatic free sample for everyone with that book to be able to test and try a new fragrance. Remember, the average woman buys one fragrance a month. So absolutely adding more scents to your income comes from the scent strips or the lift and smell, right? So I love that. So good catch. Thank you so much for that. 
Okay, yeah, anyone yeah. else before I step back? Go ahead, Pat. Yeah, just one other area. I'm not sure I can find my March or my April book, but I don't know if the um, baby products are on sale or not in that book. But one of the areas that we tend to forget about are the baby products and the baby spa. So um, the mommy and me is another good, it is. Okay, I thought I saw, I couldn't remember. Mama. The mommy and me thing yeah. is already. Yeah. That was the, so, that was um, one, newborn, you know, yeah. It's called Happy yeah, so. Mama this month. Oh, okay. That's great. So that makes great, um, you know, parties with newborn moms having them to come and teaching them the massage techniques for the babies. So that's that's just one I wanted to share and um, for parties. And so since I'm talking, one other quick one. Yeah, one other one is for scheduling. Real quick, it's the penny day. Um, what's old is new and what's new is old. So we're going back to a whole lot of old stuff we used to do. But the penny day on your calendar for a quick booking which I have to do because I'm not going to be available a little bit later in the year. But um, yeah, so I'm thinking the penny day for my uh, parties on Friday and Saturday. And the penny okay. day is? Oh, the, I'm sorry. <laughs> the penny day is when um, you put your, uh, I would say, days of urgency when you really, really, really want to have your party and have a quick party. You put a penny on that day, and if they select that day for their party, then you um, they get a any you know one item thing for a penny when their party holds and schedules. And it's always used to be a great booking. People booked on the penny day, and you'll get it back with their you know with the number of guests. So that's what I wanted to share. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Great booking idea. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, we're gonna head back. Let's get back to our screen because we've got ideas just like that here for you. So I just want you, this is not, I'm not here to read everything to you, but I want you to go Google. I just Googled booking ideas for the month of April. Pinterest is loaded with super fun things. I could have spent a whole day having fun. But talking about a mystery hostess party, when you call your customers each week to remind them of the April offers, give them a day to all order at the same time, and you could do a mystery hostess party on Facebook one week. Just a client order day could be a mystery hostess day. Have a party at your house once a month and draw for the mystery hostess. How do you do that? You give them tickets. They get a ticket for arriving on time, two tickets for bringing a friend, two tickets if they come with an order. Um, if they win any games you play, if you like games, you could give tickets. They ask you about your business. You get a ticket for every question you ask me and a two minute timer about my business. If they book a party, they get five tickets. So you give them tickets and at the end of the party at your own house, you draw and that host, that person gets all of the hostess benefits. So again, I love mystery hostess parties. Um, so just something fun you can do. Here's another idea. Sorry, I'm moving my guy around here. You can carry balloons. I used to do this one for years, right? So Pat, old is new. I love what she said. And Helen, the bee stickers, bring, bringing the eggs, which I'll show you in a second, the pop a balloon. I love everything being with music, balloons, parties. I would tie the balloons to the back of my hostess's chair. And curiosity always kills people, right? So again, you bring these balloons, they pop the balloon and inside is a free product. Um, you just write a product in there, fold up the paper and then blow the balloon up and tie a string. So she's got balloons because she's the queen bee. So book a party, you know, book and pop. So again, that's something fun. Here's the eggs. Again, you could do this online. They pick a number and uh, you tell them what prize they get when they book a party. So they pick a number. You could do this on Facebook. It's kind of fun. I see a lot of people doing this on many different platforms. You can do recruiting games. This one's kind of fun. Um, it's called Were You Listening? So the guests listen to the party, 
You play this game at the end, but you make sure they're listening. You can say something like, okay, we're about to get down to the products and you will be tested on this at the very end. At the end, you can ask them different questions. How long had I, did I say I was with the company? What is the thing I love most about being in Jafra? What are three perks of being a hostess? Which of the products that I discussed is our top sellers or the best offer of the month? So you can play games, give them candy, give them kisses, give them tickets, and it could be a game. So again, it also helps you remember to talk about the products, the bookings, or being a hostess, and the opportunity in sharing your story. So these were just kind of some fun things you can see on Pinterest. I'm not gonna, again, go into details, but I loved these postings. What a funny thing to post on Facebook. I'm looking for a few good peeps who are ready to party. It's April. We're booking right now for April, not April 1st. I love this table sign. This is a great little sign on your table or on, on your mirrors. If you like it, place an order. If you love it, host a party. If you want it all, join my team. Great tabletop signs, great things to uh, close, to buy, book, or begin at the end of your parties. These were fun little postings I found in Pinterest again. And this is what you do. You keep that party open so the hostess continues her sales once her party is over. It's never over. She's invited 30 people. So these were fun ways to post on her Facebook event or to text people pictures or to email or to leave messages. Now panic, it's the last day to help your hostess reach her goal. I love this one, let's spoil our hostess. Every order place gets her closer, closer to some awesome rewards and she deserves it. And again, it's Wishless Wednesday. Here's another, instead of Winter Wednesday, it's Wishless Wednesday. What's on your wish list today? And then show them how to get it free. This is a wonderful sign you could put at your coffee shop when you, instead of working at your office at home, you go work at the coffee shop so you see people, you meet people. Help wanted, interview here today. So again, be fun, be creative, and let the signs do the talking. So Helen started out today talking about utilizing the theme holiday of April which is Easter. There is a reason for the season. So we're gonna talk about just a money tree, using the egg tree for Easter, using that booking egg basket that Helen talked about, and even sooner booking dates. So I've prepared just a couple of little widgets and gadgets. Um, it's old as new again, as Pat said, and as, as Helen was sharing. So here's just a couple of fun things that you can do. So you saw how, again, we have money in the bunny, right? So these are from the dollar store, Target, Walmart, wherever you go. And you have $10 fake bills inside. So if they brought a guest, for every guest they bring, there's a $10 bill. That's one option that you can do to help the hostess have more people at her party, right? So that was one idea. All right, next, what else do we have? So, for your hostesses, if you do extra incentives for your hostess, these can be all over the table. They're filled with play $10 bills. This is a bunny, sorry, my hand is there, a little chickadee, a carrot. So I just bought all of these at the dollar store. And they're all filled with $10 play money, which again is from the dollar store. And so what it is, as you know, with our hostess letter, we give extra coupons if you choose to. If she holds on her original date, great. If she has 10 in attendance, if she has $100 in outside orders. So all these little $10 are all over the table, right? So we get to say, wow, I want to shower my hostess. She is blooming. She has planted seeds for a successful party. So I want to celebrate Betty, my hostess. All right, Betty held on her original date. And why does this matter? Because you know what? I do this as a full-time income. 
and I have a very busy life with two kids, a family, and running other companies, and I have the opportunity to date when I need to in my calendar. I love being the boss of my own schedule and being flexible. But what I value most is that Betty held on her original date. I really appreciate that with my hostesses. So I want to start our party tonight saying, thank you, Betty. Here's a $10 gift certificate for you for holding on your original date. So when you book your party, you can book it today and you'll have 48 hours to change the date if you need to, to still earn your $10 gift certificate. Great. Next, I want to celebrate. Somebody do a head count. How many people are at the party today? Oh my gosh, she hit 10. So I want to celebrate Betty. She invited 30 people. And I know some of you actually brought guests today. So raise your hand if you brought a guest. We're going to honor you and meet you and your guest in just a minute. But I want to thank Betty. Her second hostess bonus coupon is with 10 in attendance. And ding, 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 she did it. So she gets another $10 gift certificate. Great. And I can meet the guests. I'll give them their bunny with the money. They can each get their $10 for bringing a guest as well. But wait, Betty also had $100 in outside orders. Actually, she had $150. She's a rock star. So Betty, share with us how much did you have in orders and how did you collect orders for your successful hostess party? Great. So she's going to share. I took it to work and she had those scent pages all with little post-it notes. So I just said, everybody, take a smell. See if you like it. I'm hosting a party this week. If you can't come, you're welcome to order. But these are great offers for Mother's Day ideas at 45% off. So guess what? I just had three people who bought a Mother's Day gift when I was in the office. Three guys bought uh, one for their wives and, and two for their moms. So it was great. It was actually really easy. Well, that's great, Betty. You get another $10 gift certificate. But you know what I love most about Jaffra? Betty did this along her way, took the book to the office, and you know what? If Betty was a consultant, we make 50%. So how much income would Betty make during that time just sharing the catalog? Wow. Well, watch what I do tonight. And Betty, you'd make a great hostess. Some of you think Betty would be a great, uh, a great consultant. So, Betty, how many minutes did it take you? So, in 15 minutes, you made $75. So, watch what I do tonight. That's why I started this business, and now it's turned into blah, blah, blah. Great. So, Betty now has $30 sitting in front of her. And for every, every party that gets booked, there's more money in the bunny and Betty will have another additional $10 gift certificate to use at each one of your parties. So there's how we start the party. It hasn't even begun. And now I want to give Betty her, her volcanic mask. This is the best gift I can give her right now, but she's got a shopping spree and I want to give her her free. So now I could gift her with her booking gift and anything else I choose to give her free. So let me pause. How many of you do things like that for your hostess at the very beginning or any other ideas? That is all wonderful. That is great. Wow. I, th I think it's important to do that at the beginning because you, they know that you just open the door and, you, and get the people there. You're going to get a gift. Look how easy this is, you know, and then there's, and there's more, but at least you've got this, uh, Another direct sales company I was in for a few weeks, I was totally mortified when they'd hold up the planter and said, and 10 more dollars and she's going to get the plastic clock or something. I'm like, no, I will never do that. So just knowing that she has security, it's no pressure. You open the door and get me, let me in, you get a gift. And that just makes it comfortable. And of course, once it touches the skin, sales begin. But at least in the beginning, they got a gift. And when you start with anything, recognition and celebration, it makes me want it. Betty's just starting and she's already got 30, 40 bucks sitting in front of her, her free mask. And none of you bought a thing, right? Pressure's off. Let's play. I right. trust you love the product. Just what you said, Deb, is so magical. I trust you're going to love the product. This is my way to honor an amazing hostess. So I thank her because of her, I have a business. She's my partner and I say, thank you, blah, blah, blah. So you said it exactly right. 
it's it's always do this first that's the purpose of the coupons right that's the purpose of hostess coaching but you know what i just did i just hostess coach people so it makes hostess coaching a model but it's all about recognition and celebration so love that thank you debbie appreciate that okay anyone else anything else they want to add or aha moments from just that simple celebrating the hostess I've got my dollar store list going here for today. I have a, I have a party on um, Saturday, and this is I'm gonna I'm gonna do this exactly, exactly the way you did it. These are old as new, right? Yeah. So honestly, if if it isn't fun, and it's all serious, boring, right? So the best part is as well that again, as you're booking, I'm gonna go back to Helen's, okay? So I believe in getting the dates I need. So this is the booking basket. Sorry, I didn't have, I didn't wanna to put too much in there, but there's eggs filled here. So Betty, to your question earlier, okay? Without knowing what Helen was doing, but this is, it works. So I have a basket full of eggs with dates. So when they pick the egg with the date that works, remember you have 48 hours to change it, so you can message your friends today. We can do a Facebook Live and say, hey, save the date. Let me know in the next one to two days if this doesn't work and we'll repick a date. But we're coming. you got to come. This is Jackie. This is Betty. Come to this party. We're super excited. Here's what it's going to be like. So you can do an event, a video. But inside the egg, they pick the date. Okay, she's picking March 31st. I try to book sooner bookings in the next two to three weeks. I don't care about May. If she says, Jackie, I just can't do April. I want an egg, but I can't. Fine, no worries. But I got a book on my next five openings as fast as possible. The sooner, the better the prize. And I give them that hint. The higher values in the nearer to my calendar, okay? So, but inside you open it and there's pictures of the product prize. So that's some of the hand care product, okay? So I just use old catalogs. I would. This is the boost wipes. Okay. So you cut out pictures. Why write? Why type? Cut up an old book, right? And you just change the dates. All right. So you have them there, and I put that picture right in my calendar or I write it down. So when she holds on that date, she gets the bonus because it's a sooner booking date. She gets that plus her volcanic mask right? But again, she's got to hold on that date to get it. Rebooking kills my mortgage payment. I can't afford to rebook, like Helen said. So my goal is to prevent it if I can, but I appreciate them booking on my calendar, not theirs. I only reward things I need, right? It's worth the cost. So whatever you have an inventory, whatever you want to put in here, that's up to you. Did that help, Betty? Okay, what I do love is in a hostess packet, you have them ready, which is your brochures. You always have your hostess letter. You always have your hostess brochure. You have your catalogs, a couple of those. I love the flag sent pages. You have some play money that says, read the opportunity brochure and think about at your party, our average party makes $250. Think about this because your party could turn into your future, right? So you have that inside of the opportunity brochure. And so you've got your catalogs in there, your hostess letter. And I always, when they book, want them starting to use Royal Jelly instantly. You have a hostess tell her Royal Jelly story at a party, you're in, right? So, you have all your formulas from Revitalized Lunar Bright um, to your Boost, and they have that. I just have them on display that, you know what? When you book today, you're going to start treating your skin royally tonight. Every hostess should have the glow on for their party. So that's in their hostess packet, but I want them to know that they're going to get that, okay? So... Again, you've got Sooner Bookings, you've got your hostess packets, 
You've got the celebration of your hostess. Um, again, thank you for those who brought a guest. You don't have to use gift certificates. You can use products, you can use samples. This is just a standard of, I, I get to coach all of you around the nation. And this is kind of a plethora of all of your best tips put into an April presentation for you, okay? So let me pause a minute before I do one more activity with the Easter egg money tree and see if you have any questions. Okay. Uh, Jackie? Yeah, go ahead. Did you hold up those eggs again? Did Where did you put the dates? Did you tape the date to the egg on the outside? These actually, mm -hmm, these are post-it notes. So you, you just post it on the outside of the egg and they take that. Okay, got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You bet. All right. This is the money tree. Okay. So on the money tree, this sound looks crazy, but it makes you pause. It's the egg tree from the dollar store, Target, Walmart. And I have a hundred dollar playbills all over. And all I have is the opportunity brochure. Sorry, Debbie, I got to mute you quick. Okay. So the opportunity brochure, it just says changing lives of consultants, a company in business for more than 60 years. Okay. You pick your top reasons for the season. I have a mom and child because it's Mother's Day. Vacation because we're earning trips. I have mobile to social and a hundred dollar bill. Okay. I just cut out from the opportunity brochure. My favorite story is this, fund money, pay bills, choose change. This would be my placemat, truthfully, if you wanted mine. This would be my placemat, so the tree aligns to their placemat, okay? This is my favorite part of the whole opportunity brochure, you all know that. You got your kits, because people wanna know, how much time does it take, how much does it cost to get started, how do I do this? And um, how much money can I make? So hundreds of dollars are floating here with just little cutout tags. I don't wanna write, I don't wanna print, it's all done. So I took an old opportunity brochure. Jaffra creates award-winning beauty products. I have some of the products. Mobile to social. I just have hanging money. This one says earning more with Jaffra, two ways to payday. And it's just, a little silly storyboard might be too busy for you i'll tell you what it actually works it makes people look and go is that this is our money tree this is the reason for the season and you tell your story about the haves and have nots of jeffra right so making it simple but it's a visual so this is always just sitting at your your expo tabletop at your party tabletop, over on the side, on the um, countertop. But there's your green money packets for them or anyone they know that might be looking to begin a business this spring, okay? I love that they get the products direct at a savings. That's not my role. I can't change their life getting a discount, but I can create change and more in their life with income. This keeps me focused on the change that Jaffer could bring with a little bit of fun money, paying bills, or making change in their life, okay? And then my story stays around this as well, all right? So, all right, anyone else who does a money tree or anything about showing the opportunity? Any okay. aha fun moments? Go ahead, Pat. I do have a, um, I've never used the money tree, but one of the things I do do is give tickets out. I actually place three tickets um, at each place setting. They get the opportunity to ask questions during the um, presentation, but no questions on how much anything costs. It has to be about the company or the business as we go through. And they receive tickets for that, and then they get to um, reach in, Easter time, they go in and get an egg and it'll give them some type of um, gift. Um, also, I have bags, like at least three 
product bags. And this time it will be with the spa, and I do have that on hand. So I'll make up three spa bags and have the first three persons to, um, this is a cash and carry. Okay, so they have it right there in cash and carry. And it'll be in the like a purple bag, a yellow bag, a green bag, pink bag. And um, that always works for quick sales. They, um, they want to get it first, especially now that you can say, hey, this is tonight's special, 60% off as a cash and carry deal. So those are a couple of things I use. Excellent. Thank you. Well, anyone else who has other ideas on how they build sales, which is what Pat was doing, which is great, how they build sponsoring, how they build bookings at their parties. Anyone else with any other ideas or things they grab from today that they're gonna take action on? Jackie, having them to also, um, after they introduce themselves and just somewhere in, the, um, in your presentation asking, well, who do you all think will be a great consultant? Who will make a great consultant? Who do you think that can do this? And that's with the sponsoring, weaving it in all the way through your presentation. I find that that works too with sponsoring. I have love to vote. Uh -huh. Excellent. I remember uh, Hina Geffers, the way that she built, she lived in an area with no one around her. And she did, she had um, cards, like, bear with me, I've got them in front of me. Um, she used note cards and she had colored note cards at each seat, okay? Recipe cards. And she said, we're gonna do the 10 game. So you would come up with 10 names and you could turn that card in for a $10 bill. So you could do the bunny money, right? And what she did was she said, number your cards one through 10. And this is a who do you know that game? And so anyone who gets to 10 gets a $10 gift certificate when they turn their card in. So the 10 is, who do you know? I love what Pat's doing. Who do you know that would love these products? Who do you know that might like some of our other three department type parties that we have that would just love to try the products? They're a fashionista, they're a fragrance person, they love aromatherapy, blah, blah, blah. Great, write down their name. Who do you know that has parties, is a socialite, loves free, would love to have premium quality products like Jaffer but can't afford it? Write their name down. They would probably appreciate knowing how they could get it at 67% off in free products. Three, who do you know that has way too many jobs, looking for something new, more fun money, pay the bills, so on and so forth, right? When they come up with 10, they can turn that in for a $10 gift certificate, but that could be their first 10 they're gonna invite to their party. Their first 10 that they're gonna invite to their ribbon cutting launch party when they open their business. Or their first 10 referrals, okay? So they used to use, who do you know that? That's how she built. She did everything through referrals. And she called every referral and she would always book, sponsor, or get a sale the morning after. That was her strategy. And she went from consultant to district manager level three in 15 months. And it was through parties and this card. Not kidding. So, again, thank you for that. I'm going to take us back and we're going to just go wrap this up as we get closer to our closing here. I don't, I'm not going to go into that. Remember this. When you go into your closings, and the purpose of your party is to invite them to buy as a client to save time and save money, and you're going to serve them each and every month from your four departments with giftables, hot upselling new products to try that are at low, low prices, and regimens from head to toe. Our offers in April are up to 45% savings for our customers. If they book as a hostess, they can earn free goods and up to 65% off at their spa treatment of choice for their friends, coworkers, etc. They can begin as a consultant and earn 50% and save as much as 85% with their discount on top of Jaffra's monthly offers. 
So you choose today, 45, 65, or up to 85% savings. That's really what we offer when they shop. The key is, remember, I don't know what April's offer is, as I said, but take a look at March. Don't forget, you can still buy these three spa products, $25, they're non-commissionable, but you could book parties. Put those three products plus your volcanic mat, mask combined is $115 of our top four spa and masquerade products if they book now or into the first 10 days of April. You can buy one $25 collection at $25. Don't forget that as you're closing out and calling your consultants this week to get their orders in for their 50%. Remember, when you host parties, if you take a look in the April brochure, they can get six Royal Jelly products for $139. But wait, a Royal Hostess, a $600 Hostess party, that Hostess can get up to 10 Royal Jelly products at $180. 10 products. She gets these three, three more, two more, one more. That nets her nine plus her free royal jelly mask. Now, if you choose to give these three free, that's up to you. Okay, I would because I want a $600 party. So any royal hostess gets these, these three additional products for free if you choose to do that. But look at that price. She's paying $139 for six. For $41 more, she could get $180 at her cost. That's 69% off, and that doesn't include these three products. That's a $582 value for $180. That is a $600 Royal Hostess. My job is to coach her to $600. What does she have? She gets two Royal Jelly Balms, one Royal Jelly Cream, one body complex, one royal jelly lift, all three serums, a mask, and an eye cream. If you break this down, those are the 10 royal jelly products for a royal hostess. That's $18 per royal jelly. Up here, she's spending far more than 20 some dollars per product. So pause before you sell a 139 offer and say, what if I could show you how to get 10 products for 181 instead of six for 139? Plus, she can use her $10 coupons for the cleanser and the solar protection. So she'll get even more than 10 products when she does the hostess activities for $10 gifts, like you saw, money and the bunnies. So, Again, it's a pause opportunity, but don't forget, you could still book if you think people would have a party if you could use that spa set. I don't know April, but you have in your Facebook units this hostess letter with the coupons and all the hostess coaching. We have the wish list there. We have the invitations that go right with the QR code to the Power of Royal Jelly video, and the opportunity is at the bottom. You have an outside order form. Lori on our Facebook group has even plan B. If you don't want to be, be getting your royal jelly or perfume, not everyone wants that, great. Then get $100 free with me and look at Lori's tools she has on our Facebook page. So it's up to that hostess. But I really pause to say, you can buy, you can book, or you can begin. You could get nine products for $129 here with all your fragrance minis, but an opportunity of a lifetime to make money. So whether they want royal jelly in a kit, in a hostess program, or in your monthly brochure, we pause 40%, 60%, 80% and higher. How do they want to get their royal jelly as a client, a hostess or a consultant. 
The stop right there is, before you ever take a Revitalized Royal Jelly order or a fragrance order, stop. Did you pause and show them your hostess benefit? Did you pause and show them how to begin a business to profit and save, to earn and get free and save deep discounts? If you could show them a way to get three more products for $10 less, right? If you could show them a way, if you look, they could get six products at $129, nine products, or sorry, six products at $139 in April, or nine products and all those fragrance minis for $129. But it's about getting products direct, but putting dollars in your pocket for fun money. Would you be interested? If I could show you how to get more products, if I could show you how to get more as a hostess, would you be interested? So I'm gonna show you more products for less and dollars in your pocket, more products and deep discounts with our Royal Hostess product. So again, using your tools to tell your story is the key. Do they want fun money? Use play money. Your money tree is there, but always show play money. How they could turn their spare time or along their way into hundreds in a day. Because again, fun money is just one party, one to two orders a week along their way, and they could have a couple hundred dollars in a month, in a week, in a day, in 15 minutes because we give them the tools like the money tree says. Do they wanna pay bills? Great, we have two ways to pay day. Imagine every $400 in sales, you have 200 profit with our 50%. You start with the team of four and you make $22 every time they have a $400 order and they make 200. So our goal is to help you have a monthly commission of 200 and a monthly order profit of 200. That's our two ways to payday. Pay two bills while you're working to pay one. That is really the truth to why we have two ways to payday. Or you can change your life by building teams in sales organizations and members all over the United States and turn part-time hours into full-time pay. That is how you tell your story. Showing them from the Red Book, which I love at your party as well, that 50% and 11%, but wait, there's more. Cars, trips, Mazdas, Mercedes, Orlando's, Los Cabos, cash bonuses up to $5,000, jewelry, and more. Be proud of your story and be sure to show Jaffra's. You may not ever see them again. How do you make complete change in your life? It's simple. Everyone could sell 400 a month. Again, that's one party, one or two Facebook Lives, one or two clients a week, a facial or two each month, and they just add one person to their team each month. When they do that, and they do that consistently, 401 sponsor. Look at that. They teach everyone to do the same. You do, you duplicate, and you multiply in this business. If you did that every month and you taught your team to do the same, at the end of one year, it multiplies to 2,048 consultants. At 11%, that's a $45,000 commission. That is not real money. That is the potential of multiplying. If that was the perfect formula, that's what 11% could pay. They're making their little bit, you're making your little bit. The power of one can be simple. Paying the bills two ways can change your life when you teach others, bring them to your parties and duplicate. So as we close today, what I wanted you to see is there's tools. Use your tools. Here's all the brochures we talked about today. Using your sachets and samples to get them using Jaffra right away. How do you demonstrate? Using the guides. Make sure you bring the brochures to life. 
Use your invitations that Jaffer has at social.jaffer.com or take what we've got with QR codes added to it or put that on your sticker for mailing. Again, the key is keeping a list and checking it twice. Be your own hostess. But who do you know that loves free? Put them on your list to call them now to book for April. Who loves deals? Who loves royal jelly? Who loves fragrance or would like Mother's Day for free? Who loves parties and being social? Who needs money, fun money, paying bills, getting rid of extra gigs? Who loves beauty, spa? Who works in an office with women? Just go to their office and do an office party at lunchtime or after hours. Who's in clubs or organizations? Who's, who's in, into fundraising? Turn Jaffer parties into fundraising. Who has a business with employees and clients? Who would support you because you would support them during your April training blitz month? Who's just darn fun? Who owes you a favor? Who would support your goal? You can do them at coffee shops. You can do this at work, in the park, on patios. But the key is parties pay. As you really look at our, our approach today, the trends of beauty and business are this. Wellness sessions are in demand for staff, for their clients. We bring wellness support, beauty inside and out, mental relaxation, healing cafes, relaxation retreats, family wellness, as Pat talked about, mommy and baby wellness is big, body care, birthday suits are coming back with spring. The spa classes and breathing like Pat did in her spa party in Be Beautiful. Treatments are a key word of the trends right now. Menopause, skin changes, Luna Bright, look at the pictures happening. Antioxidants, brightening, hyperpigmentation, we have it all. Aging is key in the hands and the feet this year. Sun care, blue shield, blue light shield, my cellar water. Moringa, glacier water, coconut, we have it. Color is healthy and glowing, your new Royal Jelly Luxury color. Invite people to have your trends. For the month of April, it's Women Helping Women Heal Month. This is great for organizations. The month of April is Laugh at Work. Plan to post some fun that you have with your Jaffa teams. The 21st and 27th, when it hits April, the first week of April, plan to pile and dial some offices. And during that week, do some administrative professionals, uh, spa treatments, facials, manicures, gel manis, uh, spa treatments. But you got to put it, put it in your book to start visiting offices or pile and dial. There's fun days. I won't go through all of them because you're going to get the calendar posted today. But I gave you some ideas from brownielocks.com. Let's all have a party April 3rd for World Party Day. Again, you'll see more, but it's Vitamin C Day. Let's talk about that on Facebook Live or have a vitamin C party with orange juice and royal jelly. There's others, that baby massage day, Pat, there you go, tender moments for Mama Day, National Gardening Day, Perfume Day, and be the boss day on tax day. I love this one. PJs, right? National, wear your PJs to work day. Start posting how great it is. Host a PJ spa party, because in Jaffa, we get to do that. Orchid day, look at all the fragrances with orchids. There's more and more and more. Pat will love this. World Marble Day, have a foot marble uh, spa party. And again, Queen Bee Party. It's the queen's birthday, so why not do a queen bee birthday party and be royal on the 21st? There again is the National Administrative Professional or Secretary Day. This is my all-time favorite. You think you're going to love this with your daughter? This day I love. National Hairstylist Day. They make everybody else feel beautiful. When was the last time they did a little at the spa for themselves? Call the hair designers. Call your beauty salons and do something special that day for hairstylists in your backyard. National Red Hat Society, that's a big society. 
National Manny Petty Day. Perfect for all your offers. And again, there's so much more. The key is this as we close. Remember, we did this in the beginning college course. It's a side hustle. It's a gig economy world, a freelance nation. Clever phrases for the emergences of all the different people looking for ways to earn income outside of or instead of their full-time job. The trend is this is so attractive to be in direct selling today. They're buying direct, but they want to make money. The marketplace is open for you. Parties is the place to show them the best way for this YAB, your own business. How they can do it along their way, how they can share every day, they can do social, but they've got to register 24 seven. Many people today are interested in fast cash. That money tree talks volumes. They want to squeeze more into their income generating opportunities into their life. They can't go get another job. There's no more time. So they're doing lots of side hustles like direct selling. Remember the key is this. Make it easy to start, which we are. Easy to understand, 50%, 11%. We're going to show you how to make your first thousand with your first four parties and your first four team members. This fits into your life. It's low risk. Again, we wanna show you how to earn money by next week. They don't wanna hear all the eight ways to make money. They don't wanna learn your comp plan. They just wanna hear by next week. Donzella did this with Shafika at the job fair last weekend. So remember, parties and people, you sponsor, you plug them in to Smart Start Sundays to earn Fast Start Part One and Part Two. Make them a star. And by having parties and filling their chart with their first 15 consultants and their first 15 leaders, that is where it begins and it all starts at parties. The most important activity for your business is to fill the funnel and pull people through. Practice every day and go person to person. Go talk to people, get out of your house, talk to people at parties, ask for referrals, and be social along the way. To be a master at success, you work your contacts every day. Schedule parties each week, ask for referrals as we talked about today, post at least two times a week if you can, and practice, practice, practice. Go to spring training like the ball teams. Go out and just talk to people and have your first five or 10 practice parties. So as we close today, we've been talking about wearing rubber bands, right? I'm gonna change the theme of the pastels. You can go to Walmart, you can buy an entire bag of these rubber bands for $2. Give them to every consultant in your team, a purple, a blue, and a pink, because there really is a purpose to our conversation. Every day, if you booked at least one party, you'd be successful. Every day, if you talked to at least you had a client order, you'd be successful. Every day, if you invited someone to join the business, you'd be successful. So I look at these colors and I'm like, I wanna try to book people. I wanna try to get clients to buy. And I want to invite people to join the business. Pink is parties, blue is clients, and purple is the royalty of the business. If you invited two to do each each day or the days that you choose to have your power segments, what would happen to your business? And when you talk to two and you invite two, you move it over to the other wrist. And it's a reminder that we have three great Bs buy, book, and begin. Invite to a day to each of those services and watch what happens to your business. So I don't want to overcome objections today for a reason. You're going to spring training instead. I hope today you saw fun. We're going to handle objections when we come back to our training the second week of, where am I, April. So we're going to do parties and we're going to do objections together. We're going to do product training 
and make sure that you feel confident with the product lines that you have. But I wanted to pause and go back to fun. I thank you, Helen. I thank you, Pat, for your ideas. Um, thank you for your aha moments uh, today for all of you that shared. But this is really spring training. And I know parties is the one thing that you might be missing if it doesn't feel fun anymore. It is the way to have a blast. And always say cheers at your hostess's table. So our training has ended for today, but I'm just going to stay on board here for anyone that has additional ideas, comments, or shares for today. Or any aha takeaways. Hey, Jackie? Yes. I shared this on Smart Start, I think, but one of the things we used to do, and I still found successful, when you go in to do the party, at the very beginning, um, when they have guests that don't are not able to show up as they, as they will, just say, um, that's okay, they can come. For, who wants to have the delivery party? Because in two weeks, our products come and we got to get together. We can either get together right back here with the folks that didn't show, or you can have the delivery party. So right off the bat, you've got a booking and you're planting the seed. And then we can see the color, the spa, the nails, whatever you didn't, do, didn't have time for that day. So I just wanted to share that. Oh, and the other thing, second thing was the aha, the pause. When I was walking away, I walked, I did a basket drawing. It turned out to be a $500 sale because I loaded the basket with as many little variety things as I could, the sample of the rituals and the sample of this, a little royal jelly lift. And she loved it. So she wanted to get a couple of pro products, you name it. So it was, a, I said, whoa. I said, you know, as I was all packed up, she absolutely wouldn't have a party. I'm like, okay. And I kept saying, you know, you could do this. Oh, no, I'm not going to sell. I just wanted to get to, you know. I said, the break-even point is $200 here. And you just spent 100 You just gave me a check for 194 I would not be able to sleep tonight if I didn't at least tell you. You could go through that catalog and pick out another $100 of product, and it wouldn't cost you any more. Tell me more. So an hour later, she picked up some more things, and so she was she QNC'd. So she's very happy. And she's going to give her set to her daughter and to her sister. So, you know, all that product that she didn't, she said she won't need another thing for a thousand years. But she has friends and sisters and daughters and so forth. So once it touches the skin, there's the sales begin. Excellent. Excellent. And I think you said a couple of magical things. Again, um, I'm going to be delivering the products. Remember, we're going to keep the party open for X amount of days after, right? Because the sale continues. We're going to deliver on this date. So if somebody wants to take advantage of the hostess program, you could do the delivery date. You could all come back, bring a friend, and, sorry, you're echoing, and be able to earn the host rewards, and we'll show you how to use your products again, right? So, excuse me, again, that's a great opportunity. And again, even getting to know the guests. So there's the opening and the closing. So the opening again, um, you know, you could have them wear name tags and you could have them draw what they would spend fun money on. If you had 200 to $400 extra fun money every month, draw that on your name tag with your name on it. So when they do their intro, you're asking them that, right? So great, what did you draw on your name tag, Pat? Great to meet you, tell us how you know Betty the hostess. Um, what did you put fun money down for? Whatever your focus of the party is, um, and getting to know them. How many of you have been to a party before? What did you like about it? What did you not like? How many of you have been a hostess before? What did you like, what did you not like? How many of you have been in direct sales before? What did you like, why did you join? What did you not like? Learn before you begin, because that gives you all the clues to direct your party, right? Now, skincare. What do you use? When you stare in the mirror, what do you want to solve? What do you want to save? And what do you want to solve? Those are the two words, Jandy, I always remember her saying. What do you want to solve? What do you want to save? What do you want to preserve? What do you want to change, right? So they're staring in that mirror. Then you know, again, the kind of product direction. And is it worth it? What's your skin gonna look like in 30 years with the routine you currently have? Is that good enough or are you willing to spend a little time or money on it? Okay, great. And again, you get to your closing and you use your order form with your three boxes. 
and you say, I'm gonna ask each of you when I get to you so I can serve you, whoever has to go first. And I'm gonna make sure I ask these three questions because I need to know how to serve you and how you want me to close your order at client prices, hostess prices, or consultant prices. You choose, right? So, and if there's anyone you know. So it's, it's keeping that, again, I love Helen's idea, everybody grab an egg. Let's open them together, because if you're sitting there and you didn't grab an egg, you're like, oh, I kind of want an egg, but, right? So having some fun, having hostess packets, having money packets, use your tools, that's the key. The key is, if, if again, you need some creativity, go for it. If you don't, stay basic. This was just a way to say, it's spring season, people are out and about, they're looking to get the body care ready, the feet, the nails, the skin, the hair, we're back to happy and beauty and more skin on show than we've had before in the beginning of the year. So make it fun, go to training. How many of you are committed to doing some parties and going to spring training in the month of April? Awesome. Write your number of parties goals down and get ready to book them now. So when you turn the calendar to the new tab, you already have the green machine working. Work with your consultants as well to watch this recording and help them get their calendar full. Imagine your team sales when there's at least one, two, or three other parties besides yours going on every week. Everything grows by $400. That's the magic, right? The best part is parties. That's how most of us got here because we went to one. And that's how most of us stayed, because we did them. So let's show the fun way. Today, they're fast, they're simple, and the hostess program has never paid so much. A royal hostess, you have $71 profit to spend on those coupons. The $25 hostess gifts, it costs you nothing to have a party today when you focus on the top level. The old royal set is now the hostess program, right? So thank you today for joining me on this uh, National Purple Day, which is about the Epilepsy Foundation, but I love celebrating purple anyway. Thank you for being a part of Beauty and Business. Now go finish March with hashtag March Madness, hashtag Jaffa Movement. Thank you for being here live, and we'll look forward to talking more every couple of weeks during the month of April with more party training and more celebration. Make it a great finish. There's a lot in that basket this month. Have fun. Thank you, everyone. Have a great week. Bye. Thank you.